Capitol Hill. Edward Lawrence is standing by listening in to Susan Collins' speech. And what's been the reaction? Yeah, well, a very interesting reaction. I can tell you that, first of all, we were outside Senator Susan Collins' office in the Dirksen building. The U.S. Capitol Police cleared the entire floor as she was finishing up her speech. I've never seen them push everyone out of the entire building on the fourth floor there. So then we are now in the Hart building outside Senator Joe Manchin's office here, waiting to see if the senator is going to come out or not. Now, the protesters there, 10 of them were arrested uh, because they did not move when the uh, Capitol Police officer said they should. So protesters who are obviously against Judge Brett Kavanaugh were not, not very happy with the speech or the outcome of the speech from Senator Susan Collins, but you did hear her lay out inch by inch, line by line, why she believes uh, that she, Brett Kavanaugh would be a good fit for the Supreme Court. She first laid out uh, how the Democrats uh, behaved, you know, atrociously, as Senator Grassley said, monstrously uh, in this, uh, and then she laid out how the accusations against Judge Brett Kavanaugh just, in her mind, did not have merit with Judge Brett Kavanaugh, not saying that they didn't happen, that Christine Ford was an attack, just saying that she didn't believe or see evidence that it was actually uh, Brett Kavanaugh who was in, involved in that. So she made a lengthy speech about this and at the end came up with a conclusion that uh, she believes her voters, her constituents will accept. But it looks like she's a yes vote tomorrow. Susan? Absolutely. Okay, Edward, uh, let's get back to Senator George Allen. So effectively, Susan Collins, Senator Susan Collins is a 50th vote. Right. So do we have the confirmation of Brett Kavanaugh? Well, if everything stays the same at 50-50, Vice President Pence will cast the tie-breaking vote. Uh, there still is hope that uh, Joe Manchin, a Democrat of, of West Virginia, will uh, vote as well, so it would be 51. Uh, Senator Murkowski uh, looks like she might be against it, but she cares a lot about the, the rights and the sovereignty of the Alaska tribes. And, and so that's a, a big issue in Alaska and, and throughout Indian country uh, across the country. Yeah. So, that that's a, another issue that's not as big an issue in Maine but i think